All right, everybody, in this video, we're going to discuss scatter graphs in matplotlib. Scatter graphs show the relationship between two variables. They help to identify a correlation, positive, negative, or no correlation. For example, the more hours you study, the higher your test scores tend to be. That's a positive correlation. Scatter graphs help us identify those correlations. In this demonstration, I'll create the following data set. You can either follow along and type what I'm about to type or look in the comment section. I'll try and post this data set. We'll have X, which will be a Python list. These will be hours studied for various students. We'll have 10 values. The first student didn't study at all. They studied zero hours. Another studied one hour, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Feel free to make up some numbers too. It really doesn't make a difference. Then Y will be the test scores. This will be another Python list. The student that didn't study at all, they got a 55% on their test score. The first value will be 55. Then another got 60, 65, 62, 68, 70, 75, 78, 82, 85, 87. That's good enough for now. To create a scatter graph, we're going to access PLT, call the scatter function, pass in X, then pass in Y. X is for the hours studied. Y is for the grades. What grade did they get on their test score? Then in order to show this graph, we have to call the show function, plt.show function. Let's see what we have. Here is our scatter graph. You can see that there's a positive correlation between our studied and the exam scores. Let's add some labels to our scatter graph. For the x label, access plt, call the x label function, then pass in a string to serve as the label. Hours studied is good. Let's make sure that that works. Yes, it does. We have a label for hours studied. For the y axis, call the y label function, then pass in a string. We'll say grades or grade, singular. Let's make sure that that works. Yes, it does. Here's the grade. Then let's add a title. PLT, call the title function. I'm going to say test scores, just as a general title for our scatter graph. Let's add a little bit of customization. Let's change the color. This will be a keyword argument. Color equals some color. You can pick a color name. You can use RGB values. I'll just say sky blue to keep it simple. And the color should change, which it does. You can also change the alpha. Alpha is related to the transparency. If I set alpha to be 0.5, that's 50%. The transparency is going to change, although it's a little hard to see. If I set alpha to be 0.1, then the transparency is 10% and you can barely see it. I'll keep it at 50%. Let's change the size of our dots on our scatter graph. That would be S for size. Let's check out 100. That's bigger. Here's 200. Yeah, we can keep it at 200. That's a good size. OK, let's create another data set. The following set of scores will be for one class. We'll add another class of scores. Although it's not necessary, I forgot to make these NumPy arrays. You can if you would like. Let's rename x to be x1, y to be y1. Pass in x1 and y1. We're going to create a whole nother set. Let's copy and paste x1 and y1, rename them as x2 and y2. And let's change some of these values around. For the second set, we'll have 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. Then for the exam scores for the second class, we'll have 50, 58, 65, 70, 
72, 78, 83, 88, 92, 95, 97. We're going to call the scatter function again. We'll copy and paste what we had previously, but pass in x2 and y2, the second set of coordinates. Let's change the color to be red. The blue set of dots is for class 1. The red set of dots is for class 2. Based on this graph, we can't tell without a legend. The legend will tell you which class is which. But we'll need some labels. We'll pass those in as keyword arguments. For class 1, we'll set label equal to class A. And then for our second class, this will be class B. Label equals class B. But then we have to show the legend because it's not visible. Access PLT, call the legend function. Then we should have a legend within our scatter graph. Class A is the blue dots. Class B is the red dots. All right, everybody, so those are scatter graphs. They show relationships between two variables. For example, hours studied and exam grades. The more hours you study, the better grade you tend to get. That's a positive correlation, which we can see from this graph here. And well, everybody, those are scatter graphs using matplotlib.